Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you the Stellar Phoenix Mac Data Recovery Program. This is an application I've been using for a very long time, and this is a new version, and Stellar Phoenix partnered with me to show you what's in this new version. So they sponsored this video, and let's take a look. So one of the things it has is a completely redesigned interface. It has a new icon down here, and what you'll see is it's very simplified as far as on the surface, but we still maintain all of those really great settings we had before. So if I click here, you'll see the settings, and we have a bunch of simple settings. We can get a little bit more advanced under here and select the type of files that we actually want to find. So maybe we're not using all of these types of files that it can recover. We maybe only want to find MPEGs or JPEGs, something like that. Uh, we can specify that right down to each type of file. That has to do with documents, archive formats, application formats, and text and other formats as well. Some I've never even heard of. So you'll see there's just about everything here and you can recover anything you want. So if we go to the advanced options, you can also do some signature files, uh, headers, filters, all sorts of things. It's really customizable if you want to get that in depth. You can recover all these different types of files and set filters and everything else. Let me show you an example though of how it works. So I have an external hard drive here and we have some files on it. So I have a Q&A video that I did. You'll see it's 1.75 gigabytes. I've got some photos here. Uh, these are photos that I took of getting ready for a different video. So let's take these, these four files, We'll delete them, we'll empty the trash, now they're gone. Now I could remove those or even wipe the hard drive and get this back, but I want to show you how this works pretty simply. So I want to recover everything uh, that has to do with video and audio, or video and photos in this case. So let's turn off email and documents, we'll leave on videos and photos, we'll click next, and then we want to select the hard drive that we're using. We can also deep scan it, but since I just deleted these, we probably don't need to do that. You also have an option here, if I click on it, it gives us more information about the, the drive itself. But let's click scan. It's very fast. That's one of the things that really impressed me about it. Scanning successful, 93 files found in 27 folders. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to find the old ones. Let's see what we've got here. These are some old videos that I've done. It didn't find what we wanted, so let's do a little bit deeper scan. It's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, it says an hour and a half, so it may or may not take that long. I'll let it run and see what we've got. After about three hours of a deep scan, it's found 506 gigabytes of data. And you'll see here we have three different options to view that. We can go to the classic list, the file list, or the deleted list, and see the raw data. So here's all the different file types that it found in the raw data. And maybe you want to drill down into something else like PNG. There's all sorts of little things. And this actually had someone else's data on it from before when I recovered a bunch of files and it's seeing all of those. I actually haven't used this drive for a ton of different things. So if we go into MOV, you'll see there's a bunch of different MOV movies here and maybe we want to recover one of them. So what we need to do is uncheck all of these, then go in and select just one at a time because we don't want to recover all of these. So let's see if we do recover, we'll do browse, and choose and then we'll save that one and it only takes a moment to recover that and depending on the file size it will take more or less time so we'll give this a moment and see what it finds so here you'll see on my desktop it created this folder if we go into it let's see what it is and it's the video that I made the other day of myself, and that's it. So that's what we were looking for, one of the videos. Uh, it has a different name to it, but that's not too big of an issue. We can also find things such as photos or whatever we're looking for. Sometimes you do have to drill down in a little bit further depending on how you recovered it, if it was able to find it in a quick scan. We can also view it in different ways here as well. So if you wanna use the old classic way of viewing folders and files, you can do that. Uh, let's see, cover flow as it's called. Uh, I haven't used that in a long time, but you get the idea. You can go between all of these different ones and look at cover flow, and we can save the scan so we can come back to it later. So if I want to close this application out, 
uh, we'll just say yes we want to close it it's going to clean the temporary list and then it will close the application we'll open the program back up and once it's open we can go back from a scan that we had before so load a scan and this is the same one we'll hit recover it takes a moment looks for the drive that's connected it creates the data tree and restores it so we don't have to do that long scan over and over now stellar phoenix was nice enough to send along 10 additional licenses that i can give away on this channel so that you can check this out as well so if you have the need to recover some files uh, you can do that it's pretty straightforward as i explained here However, if you'd like to get your hands on one of those licenses, you'll need to be subscribed to this channel and then also leave a comment below. And then in two weeks, I'll put your name in random.org and select you randomly and reach back out through Twitter or through YouTube and just let everybody know who's won and then just contact me. If you haven't contacted me within three days, I'll give it to the next person in line. But let me know your thoughts about them in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.